In this problem, 500 milliliters of a gas is collected at 745 millimeters mercury. What will the volume be at standard pressure? First, identify the variables we're dealing with so we know which law we are looking at. This law has volume, 500 milliliters, that's a unit of volume, collected at 745 millimeters mercury, that's pressure. Volume and pressure go together in Boyle's law. So this is going to be Boyle's law. Boyle's law tells us that an increase in pressure, uh, not an increase in pressure, sorry, an increase in volume equals an in de decrease in pressure. And this makes sense. If there's more space for gas particles to roam around in, there's going to be a lot more empty space between them. And so there's going to be fewer mo molecules per square unit of area. Um, and so we would expect that there would be less pressure. Um, now, we can show this mathematically, of course, as um, an inverse relationship. There's no uh, proportionality here. They are um, inverse of each other. So if volume is on the x, since it's independent, and pressure is dependent on volume, you would have a curve that looks like this. As volume is increasing to the right, pressure is slowly decreasing. So, let's look at this problem and apply a little logic to it. We had 500 milliliters of a gas collected at 745 millimeters mercury. What will the volume be at standard pressure? The first thing we need to know is what standard pressure is, and we need to convert 745 millimeters mercury into atmospheres. So let's do that first. Um, our formula for this, P1 times V1 is equal to P2 times V2. So the um, initial pressure is 745 millimeters mercury, so we need to convert that into atmospheres. So 745 millimeters mercury divided by the conversion factor, 760 millimeters mercury per unit of atmosphere. 745 divided by 760 is 0.980 atmospheres. Now that we know this, we can do comparison. Standard pressure is one atmosphere. A gas at STP, remember, has a temperature of 273 degrees Kelvin and a standard pressure of one atmosphere. So, 0.98 is increasing to 1, and so if pressure is increasing, we would expect that the volume would have decreased. So, let's start setting up our problem and solving for the variable that we're missing. Uh, we have 500 milliliters of a gas, so that is our initial volume. So, 0 0.980 atmospheres times, go ahead and convert out of milliliters into, mil, uh, into liters, excuse me, by moving the decimal to the left three times, so that you would have 0 0.500 liters, and that's equal to, what will the volume be, so the volume be at standard pressure, standard pressure is 1.00 atmospheres, times um, our standard, uh, or I'm sorry, solving for volume, so times V2. So let's go ahead and combine the terms on the left side of the equation by multiplying 0.98 by 0.5. It's approximately half of 0.98, which is 0.49 atmospheres liters is equal to 1.00 atmospheres times V2. All we have to do now is divide one atmosphere to both sides. One atmosphere that cancels and divide this by one atmosphere. Obviously that divided by one is just itself and so we get 0.49 liters is equal to V2. Let's compare that to our initial of 500 milliliters. So let's take it out. This would be 490 milliliters is equal to V2. Now let's make sure this makes sense within the context of the problem. We increased our pressure ever so slightly, 0.98 atmospheres, to one atmosphere. Our starting volume was at 500 milliliters, so we increased 
pressure, and so we should have had a decrease in volume to 0.49 liters or 490 milliliters. So this question makes sense. I hope this video helps you understand Boyle's Law a little better.